Great question. Yes, we do. Uh, we, we'll ask you to sign a 12-month uh, contract to drive for us. Um, the value of the program is 4900 with It's not a tuition. Again, we're not a school, so not asking uh, for anything uh, free to you know, pay it back. The only thing we're asking is 12 months of your commitment. And uh, won't kick you out after 12 months, of course. We have a longevity bonus. We'll pay you guys $10,000 each for every five years you drive for us. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Wilson Logistics CDL Training Program out of Missouri, and as well as another location that they have for you. This is a driver apprentice program that will help you get your CDL if you can't afford it. They do have a 12 month obligation. Good morning. Thank you for calling Wilson Logistics Trucking. This is Ray speaking. How can I help you? Uh, yeah. How you doing? Are you the person uh, I need I need to talk to about uh, about CDL training? Heck yeah. All right. So me and a buddy of mine are interested in getting mm -hmm. our CDLs. Um, I was just I just okay, got great. I, I I just got some some questions that I want to go over to see, you know, to see what you guys no problem. could work out with me. Um, all right. Sure. Um, sure. All right. Uh, what, all right. So where would I, where would I come, uh, to get my CD, you know, to go mm -hmm. to CDL school through you guys? Yeah, I'll just, uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of explain our program here for you. And, um, that will probably answer a bunch of your questions. Well, definitely hire out of both those states. We're an over-the-road trucking company, so we're based in southwest Missouri. We do have a company-sponsored paid training program for you guys to obtain your Class A CDL and go over the road with us. Um, the intention of our program uh, is not to be a school. We're a trucking company, so we're uh, going to want to hire you as a lease operator or a company driver, and you guys can go over the road and team together. Um, you guys will be paid $900 a week during the training phase. And once, uh, and our drivers stay out about two to three, sometimes four weeks at a time. We drive brand new semis all across the country. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So where, where would I, where, where would I come to and how would you guys, would I have to find my own way up to the, to the training place nope. or where we pay for your transportation. No, Sean, we pay for your transportation. We pay for your hotel and uh, breakfast and lunches will also be covered while you're with us here in Stratford. Uh, we're based in Stratford, Missouri. Okay, okay. So I, just barely north of Springfield, Missouri, southwest Missouri. Okay, awesome. So what? I, yeah. I would get up there by bus, train, plane, automobile? Uh, we'll probably fly you guys in. Okay, 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 cool. Uh, now you mentioned I would get yeah. you mentioned I would get nine hundred dollars, but is that during the course of me week. get uh is that during the course of me getting my CDL? Do we get paid for CDL training, or that's after I get my CDL? Yes, yeah, so it's after you get your CDL. The training program is roughly ninety days, or it's forty thousand miles of total uh, training. So you got to complete 40,000 miles. The first 10,000 miles is going to be on your permit. That is the unpaid period. So that's about three weeks or so. First week you'll be here in Stratford, and then you'll spend two weeks, two and three, completing your 10,000 miles. Then we'll test you. You'll get your Class A CDO. Then we'll put you in the truck to start your 30,000 mile training journey from there. And then as soon as you are testing and, and pass your CDL, that's when you get hired and get put on the payroll for $900 a week. And then you knock out your 30,000 mile journey from there. A 30,000 mile journey takes two and a half months or so. So you're, most of the training, you're being paid the $900 a week. It's like the first three weeks or so, three or four weeks is unpaid. Okay, okay, okay. But during the, during the training mm -hmm. time, I, I got to come with my own, you know, my, my, my own way with the money and everything just no. to make sure I'm covered. The first three weeks are really just like road test study. It's not really a proper training. You can't legally do that much without a CDL. 
So we can't properly start training you until you have one. So that's why that first three weeks is really just road test study. You're going to be our first priority for you is for you to take and pass the road test. So it's going to be focused on slow maneuvers, backing, alley docking, pre-trip inspection, things like that. Once you kind of master those slow maneuvers and get real comfortable and confident with that, you'll you'll be able to pass the road test. But that that just is the very tip, very beginning of the training. The training officially starts at that point because then we have to teach you the business side, right? The how to you know take home time, how to do how to chain up, how to do you know all the ins and outs of being a professional truck driver. Okay, 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 cool. Um, yeah. All right. So theoretically. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys is going to cover for my CDL. Do you guys have some type of contract that I got to sign? Great question. Yes, we do. Uh, we will ask you to sign a 12 month uh, contract to drive for us. Um, the value of the program is 4,900. It's not a tuition. Again, we're not a school, so not asking uh, for anything, uh, free to, know pay it back the only thing we're asking is 12 months of your commitment and uh won't kick you out after 12 months of course we have a longevity bonus we'll pay you guys ten thousand dollars each for every five years you drive for us um lots of milestone uh, bonuses and uh, referral bonuses benefits along the way now what about now now let me ask you this uh i know if i had to sign up but there there is an obligation if i don't meet that so let's say i get Mm -hmm. Let's say I get terminated, I quit within that 12 months, or I don't uh I don't pass for my CDL. So would I would would I still be responsible for the forty nine hundred that you mentioned? Different scenarios. Um those are all different, you know, scenarios really. So it's hard to hard to answer that question, uh, Sean. But um, you know, if you get your class A CDL and then quit and go work for somebody else, that's when we'd ask you to, you know, pay that $4,900 back. Okay. Um, if we're terminating you, I doubt we pursue it, but okay, cool. I don't know. Awesome. I mean, it depends on the circumstance. It'd be very hard to answer that, frankly. Right. Well, I need, would I need my permit before I come to you guys, or would I get my permit when I get up yep. there? Mm-hmm. Nope, you do need to get your permits and a DOT physical attached. Uh, you'll start driving like day two, so we need you to be legal to do so. So yeah, you'll have your permit, and that gives you a pretty good baseline of knowledge to that we build upon once you're here. All right, drug screening. Uh, of course, I will have to take that. Uh, what is it, hair follicles or urine or both? Could be either one. Okay, 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 okay. It's randomized. What? Yeah. <laughs> now nah, we now nah, I'm clean. I'm clean over here, but I you know, I am asking for, you yeah. know, I am asking for my buddy as well. Uh do if yeah. if if he now I know I'm clean, but I, I, I can't speak for him, but I'm just saying hypothetically speaking, if uh if the urine is passed and the and the hair follicles isn't, then would he still be uh, disqualified to even go to the school or go through? I would training? say so. Yeah, because that's a that's a failure. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Okay. Okay. Um, that's a that's a drug test failure. Will we will we be able to? <laughs> What's your uh, last name? What I can do is send you guys a. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Will we will we be able to test out of a manual or will we be able to train in a manual? No. No. There's only automatics in the fleet. All right. Uh, I only have a couple more questions. Um, I guess my last couple of okay. questions will probably be, you already said that we'll go out with uh, a trainer with, uh, you know, after we get our CDL. Again, how how long, like, how long will we have to be with the trainer? Like, how, like how many weeks, how many months? About 40,000 miles. So about that, three months or so. Oh, three, okay. So three, three months. About yeah. three months. Oh, okay. 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 Well, awesome. Awesome. Um, thank we'll you. get you back home for some home time throughout that training period. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds good. Like I said, if you guys decide to go for it, just forward them that same email. 
and he clicks on that same link. Those applications will both come into me. That way I can work them together through the uh, process and get them approved together, okay? All right. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, no problem, Sean. Have All a great right. day, sir. You too now. Wilson Logistics, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. If you still are looking for companies that offering CDL training that helps you get your CDL, uh, especially if you're in financial hardship or anything like that, Wilson's Logistics out of Missouri will help you in that direction. Um, of course, some key points as always. Uh, one of which is that you will not be tested out in the manual a lot in, and just know that a lot of these trucking companies, which he has stated that they're not schools, they are a trucking company and they're looking to invest in you. So they're not looking at it as a school. So think of it this way. It's an accelerated program to accelerate you to get your CDL so you can go out training with their trainers so that you can go out and drive for them. They will cover everything you need up until the 12 months that they require you to uh, fulfill the obligation. You fulfill the obligation. You don't have nothing to worry about. The CDLs is yours free and clear. But on the flip side of that, if you should get terminated, if you should get, if you should quit, then of course you're going to be responsible for that $4,900 uh, that they paid into you, but your license is still free and clear. So you still have your license, but you'll be responsible to pay back the money that they put in for you to get your license. Remember that. That's going to be with all trucking companies. Don't let these trucking companies convince you that, hey, well, you get your CDLs for free. Well, yeah, it will probably be free and clear after you, you know, after you do the, do the obligation. But it's not free and clear. If you don't, another thing, another key point is that you don't get tested out in the manual. Uh, a lot of these trucking companies have automatics. There's only a few. And I, and at the top of my head, I, I can't recall. I mean, just about all these mega carriers out here drives automatics now. So you thinking you're going to get a CDL without restrictions, yeah, then it's going to have to be on you to get that restriction lifted. So inspect to pay about a little bit more money out your pocket to get that restriction. Wilson's Logistics, they have onboarding perks. They have small cloth. Uh, they have small class sizes and free DOT physical. So, of course, you know, you go in there, you do your physical and everything. You don't have to worry about paying for it. But the drug screening, on the other hand, they do hair follicles and urine. And if you don't pass the hair follicles, you will not be qualified. And if you flunk the urine, you best damn well know that you will be in the clearinghouse. So... You'll, you'll be blacklisted before you even start. Walkthrough process for their CDL training. The first week you apply, you get in, you do your CDL permit, all that good stuff. They'll pay for you to get up there. They'll pay for your hotel stay and all that good stuff. Step two, the same week is onboarding. They're going to put you in, got to do all that paperwork, got to go through all that good stuff. Step three, 
You begin your CL, your permit training, which is two to three weeks. Step four, you will do the CDL exam. So I'm going to just say this. It's automatic. All right. It's automatic, man. <laughs> you should not have a problem passing in an automatic. I'm just saying. Backing, yeah. But driving the truck in an automatic, you should not have a problem passing. Step five, you will be out with your trainer. Your team drive for about six to eight weeks. You'll get about $900 a week for that. And the last step is direct team drive. So you'll go out with another person that you need to collab with. And you'll be out for another six to eight weeks. And then right there, you and your partner will split. And you can earn up to like $5,500 a year as a team. What to bring? Simple. You know, just bring yourself, your driver's license, your physical, if you have one, your medical card, if you have one, social security card, birth certificate, and a naturalization if you don't have if you wasn't born in the states well what do you guys think what do you think wilson logistics accelerated cdl program you pass give them 12 months your cdls be free and clear have you guys went through uh winsa with have you guys went through Wilson Logistics to get your CDL? If so, let us know in the description below. All right? Let us know how it went. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?